Good news, everybody. The Doctor Season 14 is here! It has been released in all its glory on Kindle, in paperback form and hardback form. As I'm sure you already know, it is, of course, the sequel to The Doctor Season 12. Yeah. And The Doctor Season 13, which, uh, wouldn't they look beautiful in anyone's bookshelf side by side? Probably should try and put those in the right order, but anyway. Uh, difficult to juggle and do this at the same time. But just look at them spine to spine. Don't they line up nicely? Uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you would have realised that the season 14 I have in my hand right now is in fact the paperback version, and the season 12 and 13s that I have here are the hardback ones. The hardback season 14 is out there, it just takes a lot longer to arrive, so I'm still waiting for it, but I want to get this video out hot off the presses as soon as the season 14 release was ready to be announced, i.e. when it was there and ready to be held in my hot and sweaty hands. Season 14 is larger than Season 12 and Season 13. In keeping with the running theme, Season 12 had 12 episodes, Season 13 had 13 episodes, and Season 14 has 14 episodes. And their page lengths are also correspondingly increasing in size, as you might expect. Season 12 had 265 pages, Season 13 had 315 pages, while season 14 has a stonking, whacking 347 pages. Oh, you get so much bang for your buck. Also, in contrast to season 12 and season 13, season 14 has multiple authors. Episodes 1, 2, 8, 13 and 14 were all written by me. But in addition, we now have completely new authors who stepped up to the task of writing for this latest and final volume in the series. Oliver M. Goldblatt, sometimes known as Old Meter Guy, wrote five episodes for this volume. Lonnie Webb, sometimes known as On Comics, wrote two episodes. While Svila Betkin, known to everyone as the rabbi from another planet, wrote one stonking episode uh, featuring the time meddler. So I finally learnt the joys of being a showrunner, having to handle the pleasure of other people to deal with but I'm very honoured and proud that they chose to help write this volume with me. And I'm sure people will find something to love in each author separately and individually, as distinct from each other. Of course, the only bar I set them, along with myself, I guess, was to write better material than the BBC has managed to produce from 2017 to date so far, what with Chris Chimball and his coterie of clowns at the helm for so many terrible years. Now I realise, using that as a bar, that's a bar set so low it's basically subterranean. But that was the bar set for us. But by writing season 12, season 13 and season 14, we hope to set a bar significantly higher for the incoming new showrunner to take on the BBC's flagging Doctor series. But with RTD at the helm, what could possibly go wrong? Nevertheless, we should set RTD a bar worth clearing. As such, I was very keen to get this volume out before the BBC and their new old showrunner took over, just so we did have something to show how it could be done before the BBC got it out. And also, so no one could accuse us of copying the BBC's Doctor output, because, well, ours has been published first. Episodes 1, 2, 13 and 14, i.e. four of the five that I wrote, were actually written and finished late in 2021, so quite some time ago. And obviously all the episodes and chapters in this book have been written and published by October 2023, so before any new stuff by the BBC has hit the screens. So nobody can accuse us of copying them. Probably no one should accuse them of copying us either, but, you know, they have come later. And a slight variation from season 12 and season 13, where the recorded versions came out first on YouTube, then the written versions, and then in fact the Audible books as well, we have put the book out first. However, there will be recorded versions on YouTube. In fact, I have recorded all the narration for episodes 1 through 14 completely already. 
and in many cases that's the majority of an episode, although some episodes in this have a more chatty style than, say, mine, and more characters to deal with, so they will take a bit longer to put together because I have to record all of the characters' dialogue separately. Nevertheless, the episodes will be coming out shortly, particularly episodes 1 and 2, because I have recorded basically everything for that. I just need to edit it all together. As I mentioned, there will also be an Audible book version of Season 14, but again, I need to have the YouTube versions recorded and broadcast before I can put the audiobook together, because that's where the audio comes from for the book. However, for those desperate to get their doctory goodness as fast as possible, The Doctor Season 14 is released on Amazon in Kindle, paperback and hardback versions. Rush out there, fill your... I was going to say Christmas stockings, but it's not even Halloween yet. Fill your Halloween pumpkins with volumes of The Doctor, Season 14, and have yourself a very merry, spooky autumn enjoying The Doctor in all its goodness. Masters, mistresses, the Doctor requires materials in order to maintain the TARDIS and ensure continued functionality. He similarly requires carbon-based comestibles to sustain his own biological functions and existence. Master would never say this, but he requires aid beyond that supplied by this unit in order to acquire these. To aid the Doctor in his various tasks and creations, this can be most effectively achieved via Patreon or Substack subscriptions, or through donations directly to PayPal. Or if you desire physical goods in return for your contributions, written accounts of my travels with the Doctor are also available on Amazon. Links are in the description below. Thank you, masters, mistresses.